That is the hail outside. We start this episode right where we left off in the last one with me creating a radiator mounting bracket. And in no way between episodes have I cut my tack weld out and re welded them together after accidentally putting them together the wrong way around. Nope, definitely haven't done that. So let's crack on and get this radiator mounted. Considering the changes we've got to make to this bracket, it's probably going to just be easier to make a new one. So I'm going to start and make this little tab here. This bracket is the radiator top mount. And like a lot of things that I've shown you so far in this build, it needs to be changed because I moved the position of the engine. It would really help if I'd done things in the correct order. Before we fit the radiator bracket and the radiator, I need to take a bit more off this tab. Uh, you probably noticed how all the attacks of an angle going before, but due to the reposition of the radiator slightly, a little bit more is done. While making the part of the upper radiator mount that bolts to the engine block, I also made the corresponding part that bolts to the top of the actual radiator. With these fitted in place, I could go ahead and make the cardboard template of the part that was required to join them together.
initially tack welded two parts of the upper radiator mount together with a plan of tack welding the third with everything fitted in the engine bay. The upper radiator mount is made from 2mm steel. To prevent it from warping, it has been welded together in small 1 inch runs. What you see here has been massively sped up and all the mandatory anti-warpage T-brakes have been edited out. Now that the radiator is mounted, it makes sense to continue with the plumbing of it, so we'll start with the heat control valve. The hot water flow through your mini heater matrix is controlled by this valve. I ideally want to retain this valve because it's designed to work with the mini's heater controls inside the car. What we require is a flange for this heater valve to bolt to. Just realized I've built walls a mile high to protect my heart, but now I'm all alone, stuck on the inside. The heart doesn't need a castle, it needs a bridge. Been so scared that I unravel brick by brick. I built these walls now. completed flange. I criticized myself for trusting lies. I know I can't hide, cause then I'd be alone stuck on the inside. The heart doesn't need a castle.
my memory card filled up last night when I was finished well on this, but next job is to the engine. side of the heater plugged in the system, the system it would make sense to plug in the other half. And that should be as simple as connecting the pipe from the other side of the heater to this outlet here. This will obviously need to be remounted to the back of the engine, but unfortunately some idiots took a clutch arm on the way so this section here just won't fit. And that's not as bad as it sounds because this does not point to the outlet on the radiator in the correct place. Cue the montage of cutting, marking and welding. Gonna end the episode here. If you want to see how well the modifications to the water pipe went, then please tune in next time. Did I say well, I meant a bit of a disaster. Until then, if you've enjoyed the video, then please click that like button and share. If you want to stay up to date with the build, then you can follow the link in the description to my build thread on the mini forum or subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see some other content on the mini, then please click the link that's on screen now to another video. And again, thanks for watching.